Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall Season of the Deep Intel. Season 22 is just around the corner, almost here. I'm sure everybody's looking forward to it, but today is Friday and we have our Friday weekly update. Xur has returned as well as Trials of Osiris. So I'm going to give you, of course, a brief rundown on those two things as well as all the other farms and cheeses that you can use in Destiny 2 heading into the weekend. We haven't had a chance to play much this week. Today I am joined by Mr. Sifu, my buddy Lord Sin, or Lord Sinister as some of you might know him. Hanging out today, Zer can be found in the Watcher's Grave over on Nessus in the Big Tree. If you've never been here, you'll spawn in just over there, run up, hop up the Big Tree like this person is. And today, Zer is selling the Darcy. Okay. I actually did find myself using this exotic fairly recently in the PsyOps Battlegrounds. I gave it a shot. Didn't really work out as well as I thought it would. But to be honest, it's not the worst exotic. I think it could maybe use a little bit of a buff. But maybe pick it up if you're looking for something a little bit niche. We have the young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter class with a 63 roll. Not sure how this plays into any meta currently at the moment. Maybe still PvP meta, but not a terribly high roll on this particular exotic. We have the ACDO Feedback Fence for the Titan class with a 65 roll. Not a terrible stat distribution either, so maybe worth a pickup if you don't have them. And then we have the Apotheosis Veil, which is probably, well, the least exciting exotic for sale this week. Not a bad roll on it, of course, but um, I don't really find myself using it ever. If you do, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you. For legendary weapons, we have the Whispering Slab with Archer's Tempo and Swashbuckler. And this was actually one that Mr. Sifu said that he actually kind of would like. Target acquisition and attention. There's Tempo Swashbuckler. Doesn't seem like too bad a combo. That's Mr. Sifu's pick of the day. We have the Grid Skipper with Killing Wind and Snapshot Sights. This is actually my PvP pick of the day, at least from Xur. Killing Wind, Snapshot Sight with a Range Masterwork. Maybe could use a slightly better barrel, but still Ricochet Rounds. These three perks with a Range Masterwork. Actually very good for PvP. We have the Enigma's Draw with Grave Robber and Swashbuckler. Also not a terribly bad PvP roll. We have a Tripwire Canary with Ambush, Opening Shot, Perfect Float, Deep Sight Activation Weapon available if you want it. We have the Aquilos with No Distraction, Box Breathing, and Rasputin's Arsenal, another Deep Sight Activation Weapon. It's, of course, the Aquilos Sniper Rifle, if you're just listening. We have the Recurrent Impact with... Land Tank, Headstone, and Firmly Planted, another Deep Sight Activation Weapon. Headstone's kind of a fun perk, but other than that, can't really find myself using this too often over other heavy machine guns. And then we have a Gnawing Hunger with Auto Loading Holster and Multi-Kill Clip. Let's just see what the sight is on this. Extended Barrel does have Small Bore and a Stability Masterwork. Maybe not a terrible weapon for PvP, but there have been better ones. For the Legendary Armor, we have the Tust Allegiance uh, armor set, Tusked Allegiance armor set. But everything's broken. Across the board, we have another broken set of armor. I'm not totally sure why Bungie hasn't updated this particular set, but as I've said many times before, when we do get a broken set of armor, all of these are supposed to be in the high 50s, if not the low to even high 60s. I've seen some legendary armor with as high a rolls as a 67. Nothing here is above a 55. That's because this is not an updated legendary set. It actually should not be in the Xur rotation unless it is updated. So 
guess you can avoid all that today unless you're looking for you know the ornament over on the exotic weapons page we have a dead man's tail with four times a charm not a terrible one actually maybe not vorpal but still not a bad perk for the dead man's tail though of course this will be a craftable weapon i'm not sure if it's next season or upcoming but eventually it will be i believe it's leaving zur next season so then we have the hawk moon with moving target textured grip alley magazine extended barrel this is actually a very decent uh, pvp roll but the hawk moon just isn't what it used to be i think this weapon is very much in need of a buff i have played it occasionally in pvp and it seems like there's some matches where you'll do really well and then some where it's just absolutely terrible this isn't a terrible roll on this particular hawk moon though so pick it up if you don't have it overall i'll give zer kind of a b minus today not the best stuff but next we're going to head over to the tower see what banshee 44 is selling also if you're still fishing, the exotic fishing pond is over here in the cistern. If anybody's still doing that. Is anybody still doing that? Let me know in the comments section down below. Heading over to the tower really quick. While we load in, we'll do a little look around the solar system. Talk about what else is going on today. Trials of Osiris, again, is back. The Adept Weapon, though I will run to it when we get to the tower, is the Glaive, and I believe the map is Midtown, if I'm not mistaken. Exotic Glaive, or excuse me, the Legendary Glaive. I don't really know what the God Roll would be on it. Is anybody using it? Is anybody using the Glaive from Trials of Osiris? If you're somebody who doesn't uh, play Trials that often, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say this might be a good weekend to actually go and play it if you're just trying to get your flawless for once in your life or at least do reasonably well and get some easy trials loot because I don't think a lot of people are going to be playing this weekend I really don't know what the role on the glaive would be that would get people in there maybe there's an incredible like pvp role on that um glaive or an incredible pve role on that glaive but I don't know if you do know, please leave it in the comment section down below. Banshee's featured loot. We got an old Sterling with Focus Fury, Field Tested, and Surplus. We have the Nezerax Whisper with Vorpal, Weapon, Extrovert, and Compulsive Reloader. Another Deep Sight Activation Weapon. You know, interestingly enough, this was finally changed the other day, I noticed. This is always the Glaive that's here for sale. There was actually... A Judgment of Kalgaroth for sale. Go figure. We have the Achilles Hand Cannon, another Deep Sight Activation Weapon with Repulsive Brace, Well-Rounded, and Rasputin's Arsenal. We have the Tarantula with Field Prep, Box Breathing, and we have the Royal Chase with Grave Robber and Multi-Kill Clip. Remember, all of these will again rotate seven hours after whatever the daily reset is for you. Then these will also rotate again on Tuesday. Nothing to stand out from Banshee 44, but if there's anything you're picking up, please let me know in the comments. So then we'll head over to Saint 14 really fast. But before we do, let's just open up the directory really quick. And show you today's legendary lost sector is a prime one to farm i have to say exotic garden or exodus garden exotic garden it is the exotic garden i have exotics on the brain the exotic garden 2a let's just call it that from now on giving exotic arms if you're looking for exotic arms it's a great day to farm them if you have a whole bunch of stored up exotic ingrams in your postmaster today's the day to remove them if you're looking for exotic arms and if you're just looking for a great day to farm out exotics, Exodus Garden 2A is the day to do it. The Exotic Garden. I think that would be such a better name, honestly. This is one of the quickest and easiest Legendary Lost Sectors. Super short. Always farm it 
when it does come around, even if you don't need the exotic. I mean, like I said, you can store them up in your Postmaster, remember, and remove them on the day that's giving or rewarding the exotic armor piece that you want. I've talked about that many times in the past. I think most of my viewers know what I'm talking about, but if you're completely new to the channel, just know that if you have a full inventory of Ingrams on your person, all exotic Ingrams or exotics that you would pick up from the Legendary Lost Sector will be saved as an exotic Ingram and sent to your Postmaster. You can then remove them from your Postmaster on any other given day and get the exotic you want based on the corresponding day's exotic. As I said, we have the unexpected resurgence. Glaive, let me know. What's the god roll? What are you using? Really curious. Should I even go for it? Should I try? It might be worth it like to play trials, like I said, just to, you know, maybe try to go flawless, but it's not a weapon that I really think about trying to get. Remember, Gambit's still broken if you're looking for easy XP this week because it is triple XP rewards or triple XP ranks this week across all of the core activities, Gambit, Vanguard, and Crucible. Um, remember that Gambit, though, allows you to pick up the bounties for Gambit twice so long as you pick them up on a normal subclass, so any one of the light subclasses, and then switch over to Strand for some reason, only Strand, you can pick up those bounties from the Drifter again. The Nightfall this week and the GM is, of course, the Devil's Lair. One of the two easiest strikes with Fallen Saber. Old Strike, very easy to cheese. Put out a video earlier this week about best strategies to use there in it. But... It's rewarding the buzzard sidearm. Don't know how many people want that. I actually think it's very good for PvP if you haven't tried it in there. It's pretty good. You can get some good rolls for it. It can also roll with Kinetic Tremors, which is a very good PvE perk as well as a PvP perk for those overload champions when it is in the champion's meta. Hopefully it'll be again next season. That would be great. I like sidearms in PvP, or excuse me, and in PvE. But... If you're looking to farm out that, either for your Conqueror Seal or just some golf balls, and game mats, or the Buzzard, good time to do it. Really easy Nightfall to farm. It's also great, even if you're just trying to farm out XP, because remember, once you get on a streak, meaning even if you're just doing this at the hero difficulty, once you do five of them, you're going to be getting a ton of XP every run, especially with the triple rank rewards. The Dreaming City is the featured raid this week, so if you're looking for the Thousand Voices, now's the time to go farm it out, just get that Riven checkpoint. I think I'm also going to do a Riven Cheese video over the weekend. I said I would do it this week. It's an interesting one, I have to say. But great time to farm out the Thousand Voices. Riven's actually a really easy encounter, so all you have to do is remember to save those checkpoints, on a character and then swap over. But you can actually farm this um, with this cheese with only two or three people. And the dungeon this week is the duality. So if you're looking for the sword that names escape me at the moment, uh, now's a great time to go farm that out. And we also have the In the Deep mission, another great XP farm. Really great XP farms all around this week. Fortunately, it is, of course, the end of the season, so it really doesn't matter quite as much. But In the Deep can be an AFK farm. If you're looking just to rank up weapons as well, this is a really great place to do it. In my opinion, the best place to do it. Way better than the uh, Shiro Chi encounter at the, uh, at the door, I think, just because you don't have to use raid banners. But... Um, essentially, just go to the end of the mission, scan the lector, and jump off the nearest ledge. Reset that part of the encounter. Normally, it will tell you to leave the area where the lectern is. Just stay there. Scan it again. You'll have infinite thrall in that zone. Rank up your weapons to your heart's content. That's how you do it. Duality is also a really good artifice armor farm. Some of the best um, encounters 
as far as just farming out armor is concerned. So, you know, maybe hop into there if you haven't had a chance to at all this week. And that is going to be it for all the information today. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. Thanks again to Divine Supreme Lord Sinister, or Lord Sin, and Mr. Sifu for joining me in today's video. If you would like to join in a future Xur video or maybe a weekly update video, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd like to have more subscribers maybe join me on these things. I think it'd be kind of fun. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. And of course, we do want every 1,000 subscribers so you never want to miss out. And if you've watched this far, you can leave a hashtag Zur or a hashtag Mr. Spaghetti Face or Spaghetti Face, my personal name for Zur, or a hashtag Trials of Osiris in the comments section. Or any of the other things I asked maybe for a comment for in the comments section, we'll give you another entry into the next giveaway for this video and also for a chance maybe to get in one of these videos yourself. Remember, we're also doing a, another giveaway when we reach 1,000 followers on Instagram. And when we reach 100,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series X. So you never want to miss out on any of these things. And of course, I am Wilhelm Scream. Thanks so much for watching once more. Everybody, I hope, has a great weekend, and we will see you next time.